So in this video, we're gonna go through the process of creating this grass effect of something giving birth. Now, this is the original scene file. I just might as well quickly show you this. I did use three add-ons for this one. The poly, uh, the Botanica one, the grass blade, and the Nisagra V2. But I'm not gonna go into that. But this is what I use for these. I'm just gonna show you the process of the actual grass, just kind of like appearing and how we actually got there. So with a brand new scene, let's delete that default cube, shift A, I'm gonna add in a plane. I'm gonna scale that up by pressing tab in edit mode. Let's go right click, subdivide, 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 subdivide. Now eh, one more, now eh, one more. And what we need, we actually need a lot of vertices because this is what we're gonna do our weight painting on. So I'm gonna press tab to jump out of that one. Shift A to add a new mesh. Let's go into sphere, G, Z. I'm just gonna bring that down. From here, what I'm gonna do is tab into edit mode. I'm gonna press A to deselect everything. And then I'm just gonna go search with the space bar, uh, select random. There we go. And I wanna just want like 0.1. From here, let's come up into the proportional editing tool up the top there. And I'm gonna change this to random and we'll turn on proportional editing. Let's go scale. There we go. So I kind of want that. I just kind of don't want a circle. Um, I could use a dis displacement map, um, but we're kind of doing this quick and dirty. From here, what I'm gonna do is select our plane come down into our physics tab. Let's go into dynamic paint. Now this is going to be a canvas. So let's go add canvas. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna do a weight painting. So we're gonna change the surface type from paint because I'm not painting on it. I want to deform the weight paint. If we come down to the bottom here, we can see our output is the DP weight. So let's select that and we'll come into our vertex groups here. Let's add a new vertex group and I'm just gonna call this DP underscore weight. Obviously we can call it whatever we want, but we gotta change that into the canvas painting thing. So from here, we need a paintbrush. So our ball here is gonna be our paintbrush. So from here, let's come into our physics tab, dynamic paint, tip uh, type will be a brush now. Let's add in a brush. Now we're gonna leave it as mesh volume because I'm gonna show you first and later on we'll update this, but we kinda of just wanna get that point across first. So from here, if we just animate it, so I'm gonna go frame 20, I to set a location keyframe. Let's go frame 70, GZ, I set the location keyframe. We can see that's how it's moving. If I select the plane now and we go into weight paint, and we kind of track through, we can see that we've now a weight painted on it. However, I do want that kind of soft edge. I kind of want uh, not just harsh grass just coming straight up. So what I'm gonna do then is let's go back into object mode. Let's come back into our ball and we're gonna change the mesh volume to mesh volume and proximity. So now when we come into here, weight paint, we can see that we've got a kind of like a soft edge, a soft edge. So what's gonna actually gonna happen is that the outsides are gonna be shorter and then they'll grow to full length. So from here, what we can do is, let's go into object mode. I'm just gonna go back to the start here. Let's come into the particle settings on the plane. So go into particle settings, new. I'm gonna have a hair dynamic and we can see our hairs are coming all straight up. Let's come straight down into the vertex groups and the length will be DP weight. So we can see that we've got nothing, but as we go to frame 20, we can see that our hair's growing. And you can see here that we've got our shortness is on the outsides, and then we've got our full length in the middle. So where it was bright red is our full length, blue is zero, and then it's kind of like that gradient. So that's pretty much how we've done it. What I am gonna do is just quickly import some grasses, just little ones, just use, as, use them as an example. And so what I've done now is imported three grasses. Over here on the right-hand side, I've created a separate grass collection. So let's remember that. Let's come over into the plane. Let's go into the render tab. The render as will not be the path because obviously the path of the hair. We want a collection because that's where our grasses are and will be our grass collection. So we can see that we've got little bits and pieces of grass. From here, just kind of play around. We can see that they're all facing the wrong way. So let's go rotate x minus 90 whoops rotate x minus 90 
Let's press Control A to apply the rotation. I hate you. Shift S, cursor to selected, tab into edit mode. Let's make sure we're rotating around our 3D cursor. Rotate X 90 degrees to the minus. There we go. And so now we've got our grasses all pointing up. And so kind of like as we scrub through the timeline, we can see we've got our growing thingy-mabobs. However, there's some good tips that I can show you right now that actually might make your life a little bit easier. So if you're going to render this, make sure you bake the animation first. So if we come down into the physics properties, let's come down into cache and we want to bake the cache. Okay, because actually will speed up your render times because it doesn't have to calculate all that jazz as it's going. Tip number two is that if you want to have a delayed, like you want to have two layers of grass growing like I do in this video, the grass grows first and then the flowers come behind it. What you need to do is actually set your sphere. So we've got this sphere here. I can go Shift D to duplicate. Let's go G15 down the bottom here just to move 15 frames. And we can see that we've kind of got two spheres going up. This will need, the second sphere will need to be in a separate collection. So we'll just call this grass grower or something. I don't know. And then when we duplicate the plane here, if we come back into the particle settings, nope. If we go into the physics properties, we can actually come down into the brush collection and select our grass grower. So what's actually going to happen is now if I were to just duplicate this, let's just give it an extra 1500. And then I'm going to come down and we'll just bake it just to make our life easier. So let me just quickly bake it. I'm going to hide those two planes. Go away. We will see here that we'll have one bunch of grass and then that second lot coming up. Now, obviously, if they start overlapping or you don't, or they're too clumped together, what you can always do is come to the particle settings and we can change the seed number. So anyway, that's how we went about creating that grass effect. If you found this interesting, and if you want me to do the more in depth or, or the other jazz that I created with it, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know. I want to know, is this interesting for you? Is it? Frank, is it? Subscribe for Frank.